Ammar Hassouna is a supporter of Hirak Shababi, a youth movement that mobilized the streets against the government a few weeks ago. The demonstrations, described as the biggest in years, were, according to this 27-year-old, only the beginning. I have faith in the people who demanded their rights. They weren't just opposing economic policies, but demanding accountability and transparency. They proved they have power. Just like in previous occasions, protests end with the appointment of a new prime minister, who then temporarily overturns unpopular economic decisions. But Jordanians seem to be giving Omar Rezaz a chance. We hope Rezaz's government will be better than the previous one and he can reduce the burden faced by the people. I'm optimistic. The man is doing his best. Razaz is seen by some as a reformer, but there are challenges ahead. He is the best chance for change in Jordan, but hard decisions are needed. They may not be good for the people, but necessary for reforms. His plan needs five years to bear fruit, but he is facing a lot of pressure, not just from the people. Razaz's government has until the end of the year to fulfill commitments made to the International Monetary Fund to receive much-needed loans. That means reducing the large public debt. But to do so, economists warn, would mean putting more financial burdens on the population. Jordan's economic problems are not new, but they are getting worse. The cost of living is on the rise. Prices of basic goods, fuel and bread, they have been steadily increasing. Unemployment is at 18 percent, the highest in decades. People want lower fuel prices and sales tax on basic goods slashed. They don't want more taxes. And for this youth movement, it's not just about the economy, but the demand for change in the way the country is run. They are giving the government 100 days since taking office in mid-June to deliver. Zana Khudr El Jazeera, Amman.